Welcome back to Photoshop for Photographers, and it has been a tough couple of days. Catalina has shut me down, caused problems with OBS, caused problems with all peripherals that I have, and it has been a long time to get my computers back up and running and try to figure out what the issues are. Well, hopefully this goes smoothly and we will continue with these video tutorials. What Photoshop has done is they've come out with their new version and there's a whole bunch of stuff and I will go over those features in a separate video, but they have one specific selection tool which is new to the program called Object Selection. And since it is part of Selected Mask, we need to make a video so I can add this since the last video in which I made Selected Mask did not have it. So let's take a look at this tool right here, which is the new object selection tool. Now, if you cannot find this tool, if you have the new version of Photoshop 2020, it's gonna be bundled in here. But if you do not see it inside of here, I've moved it out so it's its own separate tool. What you need to do is go up here to edit and then down to toolbar. Somewhere over here is gonna be your object selection tool. Now I've already moved mine over here, but you're just gonna take it from, if it was over here, you're just gonna take it and drag it and move it over here. Now you can put it inside of here, but I think this is something that I'm actually gonna use quite often. So I'm gonna leave it as its own tool so I don't have to find it nested inside of this. Once you're done, you can just hit done, and then that tool will be located right on your toolbar. So let's come up here and click on the object selection tool. Now there's two different ways to make a selection. And one is rectangle. And what this means is you're going to draw a rectangle around the item that you want to select. And when you let go, the AI is going to analyze that and you can see easily make a very accurate selection. The other way is to use the lasso tool. So the lasso tool will let us draw around the subject and Photoshop will analyze it and notice only make a selection around the area that I drew. So in this case, since I did not draw around the whole body, it was just the head, Photoshop did a good job actually of making a selection. So right here, if I wanted to remove that, just like before, we have add to your selection, subtract to your selection. I can hold the alt option key and I can say, hey, I don't want this. Photoshop will analyze that and take that selection out of that area. The next tool that we have here is to sample all layers. So in this one, I don't have multiple layers, but if we wanted it to sample multiple layers, it will do that. We have an auto enhance in which it will automatically enhance the edge selection. So I can click on that and it's gonna enhance the edge selection. I haven't tried it, so I don't know how well it works yet. And then we have object subtract. So if her arm was apart here and we could see the background in this little area, object subtract is gonna try to analyze and remove that realizing that it's part of the background. And then once again, we have the select subject and then select and mask as well. So we're gonna go ahead and click on select and mask. So once we are inside of selected math, everything is basically the same, except for we now have the object selection tool. And once again, we can do the lasso or the rectangle and everything else that we do is exactly the same. It's just going to allow us to use the object selection tool inside of select and mask. I could grab this hair selection tool, click on smart radius, control the brush size, and then when I just kind of brush over this hair, it's going to try to analyze the hair and make a better selection and pick up all those stray hairs. And then I can slide down and say, I just want to output to a layer mask. And just like that, we have a new selection added in Photoshop using the object selection tool. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave those below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.